Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and I'm here with a special guest again. Hi everybody, it's Blue Mellow. It's great to be here. Good to have you. We're talking about movie soundtracks, well technically soundtracks in general, but like they can be from TV shows, movies, whatever. It's kind of a part two to our previous video, so if you want to check that out, it will be in the end screen. Okay, so you, do you want to start us off or do you want me to start us off? Um, I can start off. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, right off the rip, uh, Titanic um, is definitely okay. one of my favorite movie soundtracks. Um, I, I think, I know that it's pretty cliche of me to just say that, you know, My Heart Will Go On is one of my favorite That's songs. That's the only but... song I think I know from that soundtrack. You know, honestly, I feel like it might be the only one that I know, but I think that some of the music um, that was throughout the uh, the movie, like that that whatever melody that was, mm -hmm. if that counts as a song, it's also one of my favorite songs. Right. But yeah, I do love, I love that uh, that soundtrack. The music was really nice. Um. Okay, so my first one on my list is from the My Little Pony, the movie soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. so before you judge, <laughs> um, the villain song in this movie is just sang by Ella, um, Emily Blunt. Okay. And it is a fantastic villain song. Nice. Um, it's called Open Up Your Eyes. Ooh. And it is just uh, the melody is so beautiful and the chorus is really great. My second favorite um, movie soundtrack, this is actually not nostalgic, but it is a new movie and it's the Aretha Franklin movie called Respect. And this is gonna sound really bad, but though I have not seen the movie, I have already <laughs> went knee deep into the soundtrack because I love Aretha Franklin and the new representation of her music um, with vocals from Jennifer Hudson are just phenomenal so that is definitely um a this soundtrack. is the new movie right the new r-e-s-p-e-c-t -E -E yeah oh. <laughs> yes i love that you said it like that that's great before the movie seeing as it is aretha franklin and you know jennifer hudson's also a singer um they kind of really made it into a a musical pro well it is a musical project but they kind of really did it like a two-part thing, so a movie and an album, and the album came out first, um, right. the soundtrack, and the compilation of all the songs, and then the movie dropped. So my second one is gonna be the Austin Powers 2 soundtrack. Nice. With Elvis Costello and Burke Bacharach. <laughs> Burke Bacharach is a great writer. Um, my favorite song from that movie is probably I Never Fall in Love Again. Mm. And it's just because it's such a such a beautiful song. I mean, it's part of like a romantic scene, but like they're dancing and Mike Myers is, of course, doing his like weird dance moves. But it's just such like a beautiful song to listen to. Nice. Um, the movie Roll Bounce um, with Bow okay. Wow. I love the soundtrack because there's a lot of, there's some old songs on there, but there is also a, um, a, a thing where there's old songs, but with newer singers, because it is, a, it, at the time it was a newer, kind of goes like, freak out. <laughs> oh, is that that one that's like, freak out? That's a say shit. Yeah. That? <laughs> yes. Is it that one? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I don't know why they play that in so many movies. That ha it has a curse word in it. They say freak out. Les freak say chic. No, they don't. Is that what they say? Is it chic? Yes. Instead, I thought it was for the longest time. I thought it yes. was. Okay. Yes, because the group is called chic. Oh, God, that's great. Okay. Well, I've been singing it wrong this whole time. But... <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so my third one would definitely have to be from Buffy's Once More With Feeling episode. Okay. It was a fantastic episode. It was, uh, had like all these different songs and the all different genres kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like they had one called Rest In Peace, um, sung by Spike and then okay. something to sing about by Sarah Michelle Gellar and then Walk Through The Fire is my favorite. Cause that's like the most epic, really builds up in the middle. Nice, nice. 
So I'm gonna judge, or go ahead and judge that you have not seen uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Buffy the Vampire. I was gonna ask, was it that? But I've heard of it for sure. I've but heard of. I've seen heard. It. Um, no, I've never seen it. That's a shame. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Blue Mellow, so much for joining and uh, sticking around for a part two. Absolutely. I, you know, I honestly would not have it any other way. Oh, thank you. Well, you guys make sure to go check out his channel and thank you so much for watching my video and just be sure to leave a like if you want to see more. Maybe we can do a part three if I can remember all the soundtracks for a part three. For certain, um, I would do part three. Um, I, I wanted to say really, really quickly, um, for those yep. of you guys who uh, um, haven't heard of my channel, I'm Blue Mellow, that is the name of the channel, and I am a singer. I have a new single coming out September 1st titled Don't Hurt Me, and I have three singles already uploaded. Please like, stream, download, share, comment. Um, it will be much appreciated. Yeah, and I will have his information or his channel link in the description as well as in the end screen. So, yep, stay awesome guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Have an awesome day. Bye guys. Bye bye.